Hello guys, welcome back to Divine Timing Tarot. This is Tanya. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Cross watchers, you're always welcome. Good afternoon, Divine Timing Tarot family. Love you. Thank you. Appreciate you. Welcome new subscribers. Welcome. Guys, we're here doing a general for Libra. This is for um, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's clear out all the energies for Libra. Bringing all the beautiful vibes for Libra. God, angels, ancestors, holy spirits. I've already prayed, Libra. I've shuffled. But I will shuffle again. What are the energies for Libra, God, angels, ancestors, Holy Spirit? What is the messages for Libra? What are the messages for Libra, guys? What are the messages for Libra? Leap of faith. Ooh, they came out quick, 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 quick. At the bottom of the deck, Libra, we got apology. You can expect the apology you want to hear. Maybe you want to give somebody an apology. Could go both ways. You got a leap of faith. It's safe to make the move you're considering. So you're about to take a risk. You have, it is safe to trust in this situation. You have mastery. You've learned the spiritual lesson. And you have children. Children are important to this partnership. And you have passion. Try something you've never done before. Looks like you're about to take a risk. There's definitely some things you've learned here. You're definitely going for something that you're very passionate about. You are the person that you're dealing with. Have children, maybe both of you have children. Give me some more information for Libra. Give me some more information for Libra, guys. Give me some more information for Libra. This is for the last week of August 2021 or whenever you see the video. Your cards are like really, I don't know, they feel funny. Clock. You want someone to give you some time. Um, something here is going to happen in divine timing also is what I'm hearing. You have girl talk. Time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, having fun. Hmm. And you have healthy choices, making healthy choices in love and in life, self-love, self-care, you're being happier. Be lighthearted, finding out things coming to the light, change, heal, adapt.
there's something that you're not seeing right now, Libra. But in time, you will. Because things are being divinely guided at this time. Give me some more information here. Okay, we got the lovers here at the bottom that just didn't want to. I, I picked this deck up. The lovers. There's a big decision here. And you're going to take a risk and trust yourself in this decision. This is, you got a lot of passion for somebody here. Somebody that you're very spiritually connected to. Somebody that you're very spiritually connected to. Give me, could be dealing with a Gemini, don't have to be. Some of you guys could be looking at readings. Possibly on your person. What's the situation here with Libra? The Seven of Pentacles. This is investing. This is you waiting on something, you know, to come to fruition. This is you thinking back also on something that you've been investing in. You got the Eight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. There's something you're going to be walking away from and you're going to be trusting yourself, taking a leap of faith in something that you got that you're very passionate about or someone. Or someone. What is the challenge here? What is the challenge here for me, bro? What is the challenge here? What is the challenge here, guides for Libra? What is the challenge? Mm. The page of wands. You want to communicate with somebody. And it's and it's a challenge for you. Are you waiting for someone to heal here? You want to communicate with somebody that you want to invest in. Or someone you did you did that you did invest in. Eight of Wands, communication. Something gonna be happening quickly here. Something is gonna be moving quickly here. Some of you guys are gonna be moving on quickly. Away from something. Someone. The Six of Cups. You're thinking about your past. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Doesn't have to be. You're wanting a reconciliation here, it looks like, too. You want to reconcile with somebody that you have a very spiritual connection with. Somebody that you feel is your soulmate. Somebody that you got a lot of passion for. Somebody that you're holding on to. The four pinnacles at the bottom of the deck. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. A lot of emotions. Got a lot of emotions here for someone. Passion. Eight of Pentacles. You want to work on something with somebody. This is the near past. Looks like you did work on with something with somebody in your past. Moon card at the bottom of the deck. This is illusions. Listen to your intuition because it's very heightened at this time, Libra. You could be having dreams too about this person.
could be having anxiety. You, you could be confused. There's something that's being hidden that is going, and within time, you're going to know what it is. You're going to know what something is within time. What's the present moment? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Queen. King of Pentacles. This could be your energy. Or this is someone... You're wanting to give now something very stable and grounded to someone here. This popped out with the King of Pentacles, the Six of Wands. This is one in success and victory, getting attention. This is wanting some passionate attention too. Could be dealing with a Leo Sag, Aries, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is good news coming in. This is communication. You're definitely wanting to communicate here. Definitely. Definitely want to communicate with somebody here about some stability. Got the nine of wands at the bottom of the deck. Someone is here is feeling wounded. Weary. But still wanting to fight for something. Still wanting to fight for something. Ooh, the Emperor. The Three of Wands. And the Knight of Wands. You don't want you don't want somebody to turn their back on you. I'm I'm sensing a, a, a obsession here too. You want to quickly move towards someone that you're very attracted to. You want some attention from this person. Ooh, a lot. I mean, I'm, the passion is off the chain. Justice, the future. You want something balanced out here. You guys are dealing with some legal issues. Something is definitely gonna go in your favor. Um. This is balancing things out. This is truth. Fairness. Justice. We have the Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck. There's someone that you're not communicating with. There's someone that you're possibly not being honest with. Let's clarify. Libra, Ace of Wands. <laughs> you want some attention with from somebody. And you stressing about it too. <laughs> you having dreams about somebody? Wet dreams about somebody? Libra, are you? Are you? Oh, wow. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Ah, the emperor again. Y'all could be dealing with a boss, a CEO. Why is the damn six of cups came out? I saw the six of cups again. Nine of cups. Wish fulfillment. Success. You won't. Success, possibly. But why is this moon here? Why is the moon card here? Secrets. Illusions. Fear. Fear. What are you fearing? I'm going to put that back. Um, I want to clarify the Seven of Pentacles with this Page of Wands. <clears throat> this Seven of Pentacles with this Page of Wands. God, Ancestors. 
Holy Spirit angels. Why? What is this? The will of fortune. This is good luck, good fortune. Destiny, karma. Why is the will of fortune here, guys? Three of swords in the reverse. Looks like you are getting over hurt or somebody's getting over being hurt. Somebody definitely has been betrayed here. Put in a third party situation. You want to communicate with this person about what what went on here. You want to talk about it. Why is the three of swords here? With the will of fortune. Why is the three of swords in the reverse with the will of fortune? Yeah, you're feeling some type of way here. You're feeling abandoned or somebody's feeling abandoned. And somebody wants some answers here. Somebody want to be, somebody is like, why did you do me like this? Why did you do me like this? There's definitely something you want to work on here. Why is the six of pentacles here? I mean, the six of cups. Why is the six of cups here? You've gotten some clarity. Universe has given you some clarity about somebody in your past. Somebody that you got a lot of emotions for. Oh, my God. Six of cups again. I got the six of cups. Look at this. Oh, my God. The six of cups, the ace of swords, and the six of cups. Universe has definitely let you know who your soulmate is, okay? Who your soulmate is. Who it is that you have a lot of emotions for. You know without a doubt who this person is. Without a doubt. That's why I say you've had dreams about this person. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Too many. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? The Eight of Pentacles, guys. Why is it here? The Eight of Pentacles. This is working on something mastering something you've already mastered something you've learned a lesson here building this could be somebody you work with that you want success with and victory you see that somebody gets a lot of attention you want attention from somebody some of you guys are definitely being recognized for what it is that you do for work. You're being recognized at work. I don't know why. Look at this. I don't know why I pulled this card from the top of this deck. And guess what it is? The Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles. You definitely got a connection with somebody here. The King and the Queen of Pentacles. This is a power couple. You definitely got a connection here with somebody. A very strong connection. Mm hmm This is somebody that you want commitment with. This is somebody you want something long term with. You want success and victory with this person. Woo wee. Why is the King of Pentacles here with the Six of Wands? See, I told y'all, some of y'all is, is, is looking at readers tarot readers maybe i'm talking to a tarot reader i don't know but the high priest is here and then it has tarot on here so some of y'all been looking at readings getting readings seeing what it is that you need to do you need to listen to your own your own self too because you already know the answers that you're seeking your intuition is very high right now universe is definitely talking to you giving you clarity on what it is you need to do and with who you need to do it with. Some of y'all probably feel that somebody is holding secrets. Or maybe somebody feels that you're holding secrets, Libra.
Why is the High Priestess here with the King of Pentacles and the Six of Wands? Look, look, look at what, I, okay, the King of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. Libra, you're wanting some attention from somebody secretly and you're not being honest with yourself. And guess what? This Queen of Pentacles is wanting success and victory with you too. They want to work on this. You're dealing with somebody here. Y'all both on the same page. Y'all love each other. I mean, it's mutual. It's mutual. But secretly, you ain't being honest with yourself. Mm -mm. Wow. Eight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Why is the High Priestess here? Yeah, because somebody confused here. Somebody's confused here. Because you got options. You got options. You don't know what to do at this time. But you're going to get clarity. You did get clarity already. What it is you need to do. I told you, you want some attention. You want a new passionate beginning with this person. You want to be intimate with this person. Wow. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. And you know you do. And you know you do. The truth will set you free. Okay? The truth will set you free. Why is the Ace of Wands here with the Seven of Cups? Why is the Ace of Wands with the Seven of Cups? Maybe you're giving to another person and you don't know how to be honest with somebody that you're dealing with. Because this is Six of Pentacles. You want an equal give and take with your person. But it looks like you could be giving to somebody else too. See those two other people? And you got the Seven of Cups here where you got options here. <clears throat> you have options here. But you're literally wanting to commit with that person that you got that strong bond with. Okay, let's move. Justice. Oh, look, you want something equal, equal and balanced with your soulmate. Y'all on the same page. All you do is you just got to be honest and let this person know what it is. That's all you got to do. That's all you got to do. Why is the two of cups here with justice? Why is two of cups here with justice? Why is two of cups here with justice? <sighs> the four of pentacles. You're holding on to this person. You are holding on to this person. You And, and you holding back your emotions from this Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. You're holding your emotions back. You know that this is your wish fulfillment. You know this is your wish fulfillment. But I think right now you're just being a little selfish. I think you're being a little selfish. You know this person is your empress. Your divine masculine. Your divine feminine. You know. You know this. You know this. You secretly think the world of this person. Whenever you see this person. You smile. You get all happy inside. But there's a lot of confusion here. Because there's another person here. This Queen of Wands. There's somebody else here. We have the Death card here. Why is the Death card here with the Queen of Wands and the Five? of wands definitely got the queen of wands here and the empress yeah judgment there's a judgment there's a judgment you gotta make there's a judgment you gotta make because right now you juggling you really are you juggling two of pentacles two of pentacles you gotta make a decision Because you do, you do love a person, but you are in love with someone else. You do have feelings for somebody, but you are in love with someone else. There's definitely a difference, okay? There's definitely a difference. You're going to have to turn your back on somebody. Somebody. You're going to have to turn your back on somebody. Bottom line. Let's get an outcome here for you, Libra. Oh, wow. This was deep, Libra. Come on. You
you got a decision, a big decision to make. You got a big decision to make. And 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 I'm also hearing, you know, you don't want to hurt nobody's feelings, but somebody's going to get hurt here big time. Somebody's going to get hurt. There's no if and and buts about it. You have two people here. One of them love and one of them you love and one of them you are in love with. Okay, what is the outcome here, guys? Okay. Seven of Cups in the reverse. You're no longer going to be confused about what it is you need to do. You're no longer going to be confused about what it is you need to do. You know what it is you need to do. Yeah. There's going to be a tower moment. Something unexpected is going to be going down. Because something is not stable and it's not grounded. Somebody living a lie. Somebody living a lie. Yeah. At the bottom of the deck, we got the Wheel of Fortune again. Something is destined here to happen. Fate is here. Fate is here. It's here. Yes, it's here. Libra, this is what I got for you. If you resonate, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you, guys. Love you. Bye.